Hello, great YouTubers, welcome back. As I've mentioned before, one of the useful features that Factory IO offers is the ability to force equipment to see how they work even before connecting the software to the PLC or the simulator, in this case, Open PLC. In this lesson, I will walk you through how to do just that. Let's get started. Before we start, kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way you always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so let's see how this is done in Factory IO. To force the equipment, the first thing to do is to activate both the actuator and the sensor tag in the toolbar. So basically you go to the sensor, activate it and then you come to the actuator tags, you also activate it. Immediately you do that, you will realize that you have the tags displayed on the specific equipment. So basically when we come here, we can see the belt conveyor, which is 4 meter. Right here we have the tag. We can see the tag at the remover point. We can also see the tag at the emitter point. Great. Okay. So now to force the equipment after activating the sensor and then the actuator tags, you need to put the factory IO software into play mode. So you come to play and then you click on the play button. So by clicking on the play, the system is activated and then we can see the box with the pallet on the conveyor. So to force the object, you need to click on the object and you will realize that the object property appears at this top corner, left corner. Okay, we have the button which indicates that we have no failure and then when we click, on the start button we will be able to force the system to start running so we click on it and then we can see that the system have started to stop it i can click on the stop to stop the conveyor okay so we can see that without even connecting the software to any logic we were able to simulate the conveyor running okay so now looking at it we can also click on this to stop the conveyor we can see that by default the emitter and then the remover are forced so basically before you start the system the emitter and then the remover are already forced okay the next thing we can do is to also simulate on failure and then also off failure all right so to do just that we can move to the on state again and then if i hover my mouse on the release i can click on it and then we can see that the conveyor stops and then i click on it again and we can see that the symbol here changes and this indicates an injection of an on failure indicating that the system has failed in the on mode and then is running without being able to stop we can also simulate what we term as the off failure if i click on this and then i hover my mouse right here you can see an off failure and then we can see that the contact is permanently open and then the conveyor is in stop mode now basically what you need to note is that whenever you force an object or simulate an on or off failure, the software no longer listens to the PLC logic that is communicating with it. Which implies that whenever we simulate or we do a force in the software, it will remain in that state no matter the state of the that particular conveyor in the logical software. So if the logic is indicating that the conveyor should be on, and then within the software you force it off the conveyor will be in the off mode if the plc is indicating the conveyor should be off and then you force the conveyor to fill in the on mode the conveyor will still indicate on without listening to what the plc logic is saying okay so basically there are three items we've studied here right now the first is no failure where we simulate force and then the system runs without any failure the second is an on failure where we simulate the system failing in the on mode and then the third is the off failure where we simulate the system failing in the off mode the next thing to force will be our push button so we have to zoom in a bit okay so to simulate that i need to click on the tag and then we can see that there are two tags here that is the start button light and then the start button itself so we need to simulate the light coming on 
so i'll click on the light and then we can see that the light is added to the property bar right here okay so i will, see, I will do a force and then we can see that the lamp is on indicating the force on without any failure and then i will simulate a failure so this simulates an on failure where the system will no longer listen to any input coming in but it will remain in the on state and then i will simulate an off failure now we can see that the system is permanently off and then this way it will no longer listen to the logic that is coming from the plc great so we've been able to learn how to force objects and then test our project right in factory io so now let's move to the next lesson where i will show you how to do the required configuration and connect factory io to open plc see you in the next tutorial bye bye